everyone, it's Tiara. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be doing a Get Ready With Me video um, featuring my favourite like uh, combo and my favourite makeup products as of late. And I told you guys I was going to do this on my Instagram story, so I'm finally doing it right now. Um, but some of the items are actually uh, quite new, but as much as possible, I'm going to keep it um, to the products that I've been using for the last couple of months. So let's get started. Um, yeah, this might be a chatty video, so sorry. Okay, so what I usually do first thing is to do my brows. So for this, I'm using the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. It's a very foolproof kind of brow pencil that you can... Uh, it's pretty easy to use, it gets the job done. Alright, so to set them, I'm using the, what is this, the Kate Eyebrow Color in BR01. It's been a hot minute since I last used this, man. I just found it in my stash and I thought I'd use it today. It might go terribly wrong, but we'll find out. This brow gel is like tinted, so I'm not used to like making my brows a little bit lighter but there's always room to try new things right all right so i'm gonna go in with my um, nas pro prime eyeshadow base to uh, prime my eyelids okay and then i like to do my foundation and my base first and <laughs> this is the killer combo i'm talk i'm gonna tell share it with you guys uh, in my favorites video, in my January favorites video, I mentioned that I really like um, the combination of the NAS, um, NAS All Day Luminous Weightless and also the Fenty Beauty Foundation. But to be honest, like my that I couldn't f like I, I didn't bring my um, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation with me when I was filming that video. So I had asked my husband to bring it back uh, when he went to my other house, and finally I have my killer combo with me. So guys, this is the magical combo that I've been obsessed with and I think that it gives my face like flawless and it just makes my skin look really good. I still have a little bit of that dewiness but at the same time, because this is so matte, it keeps like my T-zone area very like, you know, it controls my T-zone area throughout the day and um, my I don't notice my makeup breaking throughout the day when I use this combo. Um, same with the Fenty Beauty combo as well. So let's prime first before anything, okay? Um, my killer combo for primer is actually something very dewy and um, like luminous and then I'll top it off with a pore filling primer. So for today, I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs um, Coconut Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. This is very hydrating. Um, and I really like how it smells because it smells like coconut and then to top it off um, to make sure that like I yeah to make sure that there's no oil seeping through and you know everything is controlled I use a pore filling primer so mine is the Benefit Professional and I'll put it like around the areas where I feel that I, li I need a little bit of pore filling action I also put it at my smile lines, this area, because that's where my foundation tends to crease most of the time. If um, another primer that I really like um, that does a great job is the Smashbox um, Pore Minimizing Primer. It's the one that looks like a purple shift. Um, they actually have, if you don't want to buy like the whole full size which costs like, about $60-$70, they actually have the um, travel size or the deluxe size which is about $27, $25 and it's so good, it lasts a really long time and that's one of my favourite primers as well. So with whatever I initially pumped on my hand just now, I'm going to put it at the perimeters of my face, so like around this side um, and a little bit here because I want that dew there. Here, here. At the side of my face, oops, gonna my hair a bit. And then I go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I'm in the shade 104 Golden Beige. I really like this foundation because of the combination that I'm using right now. I do have to say that the shade selection is quite small, I think. So hopefully they bring in more shades. For this primer, uh, for this primer, for this foundation, I like to put it like on my cheeks, on my forehead. And then whatever that's left on my my at the back of my hand, I'll just distribute it. And then I'm gonna blend it in with the plush sponge by Rabbit Artistry. 
I did a video reviewing this. I'm not sure whether this will go up first or that video. So um, yeah, catch my review on that when it comes out. It's really, really very good. All right, so I'm just gonna blend everything in with this sponge. For concealer, of course, I'm going in with my Tarte Shake Tape. Super love this. This is my second tube and I have to have it everywhere I'm staying at. So I usually put... I'm very generous with my concealer even though this goes a long way. But I really like this concealer so much and I feel that it really bumps up my um, whole face when I use it. And then, because I'm extra, what's new, I would take the... Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer in the shade Medium Light Neutral. I don't like to use this under my eyes because for some reason it creases very badly on me under my eyes. But I do like to use it to spot conceal any other um, like redness that I may have um, or like a pimple or discoloration or something because it has very very like high coverage and it stays pretty well on the skin. So I'm going to take the pointy end of the plush sponge and just um, blend everything out. Alright, so now that I have blended all of my cream products in, I'm going to start setting everything quickly. I'm going to take my Glossier Wilder Powder. And I'm going to go in with my 13 Rushes. I think this is a highlighter brush. It looks something like that. But I like to use it, I think it's perfect for under the eyes, um, setting under the eyes, so that's what I always use it for. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the powder and have my brush, uh, my brush, I have my sponge on the other hand and I just lightly stamp and blend it out and quickly set it so that there's no creases. And for the rest of my face, I take my Kat Von D, I don't know what brush, number 20 brush and I take the same Wilder powder and I will just lightly dust it, um, especially on my T-zone, um, my cheeks because those areas get oily um, the fastest. But recently, I've been trying to do this quite a fair bit. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette and mine is in the shade Dolce de Leche. Um, I use the banana shade in this and the same um, brush I set to set uh, I used to set my under eye area and I like to put it underneath my eyes just to brighten it up even more. For my cheeks I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite products currently which I don't know why I forgot to mention in my favorites. This is the Tarte Blush Bazaar blush palette and you have like all these shades in here and they are so pretty um, they are so great for like going to do like makeup assignments as well because you have so many color br blushes in just one packaging. I like to mix blushes. So today I'm going to mix this shade called Skillful and this shade called Fortunate. Alright, so now for highlight, um, if you watch my January favourites, you would know that I'm obsessed with this highlight by Kiko Milano. Um, but today, I actually want to try something new that I impulsively purchased. Um, some of you guys asked me what I was wearing in one of my Instagram stories where I was like, oh my god, the highlighter is like, amazing. I caved and bought this. This is the Hourglass Vanish Flash Highlighting Stick and I got it in the shade Gold Flash. Even though it says gold, right, it's not really that gold. I feel like it's more white. And like, the packaging is very similar to the Vanish Stick Foundation, which I love. And when I swatch this, right, it's a cream highlight, but when you blend it out, it turns into a powder and it's not tacky at all. So this is what the shade looks like. Can you see? Like, it looks... Very, it's a, it looks like a very light gold shade. I'm going to take my sponge and just um, take a little bit of product and pop it on my cheeks. So here we go. Oh my god. This is my first time using this like since I bought it. Oh my god. <sighs> Look at that. Oh shit! Okay, I bought the right color because I didn't want to get a shade that I already have. So this is the first impression for you. I love it. I love how it looks. 
it blends so easily when you pick it up with a sponge and it's not tacky at all like at all it's really not tacky so now that i have my cheeks and my face makeup done i'm gonna go to the eyes finally so the first shade i'm gonna go in with is of course a base shade for all over my lids i'm just gonna take the highlighting powder that i used earlier under my eyes and i'm just gonna use that to you know give my eyes a base color go in with a crease shade i'm gonna take my oops i'm gonna take my morphe by jacqueline no jack the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe and I'm gonna go in with these two shades right here I switch up between this and the modern renaissance but for today I feel like using this I'm gonna use these two shades I have actually no reason I just like these two shades lah actually I'm going from the outer corner of my eye to the inner corner of my eye with a slightly more tapered brush I'm gonna go in with a slightly darker shade I cannot decide give me a minute I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's a very nice reddish brown shade. And I'm gonna put it on the outer corner of my eyes and with whatever that's left, I'm gonna blend it in towards, to, uh, towards the inside portion of my eyes. So I'm just gonna start right here. Just place the shade. And whatever that's left, I'm gonna bring it in. Okay, so <clears throat> now that I'm done, like I'm happy with that, I'm gonna put my um, lid shade now. This is the Cleo Prism Air Eyeshadow in the shade Afterglow. This is the one that I've been obsessed with. And all I do is just use my fingers, dunk it into the pan, swirl it a little bit, and then I pop it onto my lids. Look at that. Oh. I just love this eyeshadow and how um, it has like a lot it gives a lot of impact like it packs a punch now with the short shader brush i'm going to work on my lower lash line and i'm going to do the same thing as i did just now i'm going to start with the darker shade we used which was that dark um like reddish brown shade and i'm just going to run it through my lower lash line and then i'm going to go in with the first two brown shades that we used and blend that reddish brown shade out just to smoke out the whole look for liner, I'm going to use my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Mad Max Brown. I've been using this for so long and here's another one of my um, favourite things right now other than ombre lips is instead of winging out my eyeliner this way, I like to do the Korean liner where it kind of like wings out but instead of going too high up, it just goes a little bit like straight. So that's my eyeliner look for the last couple of months and I love it. I feel that it elongates the look of my eyes and I just like how it looks. Okay. And I'm into brown eyeliner right now because um, it's softer. It looks softer. Yeah, see, I didn't like go upwards, I just went like slightly up but more this way instead of like straight up like how I usually do my eyeliner. Basically, when I went to Korea, I came back like an honorary Korean, I feel like. I couldn't stop eating kimchi for the longest time. Like everything, everywhere I went, hawker centre, I want kimchi. Like I will buy kimchi for home, that kind of thing. But that will change if I go back to Japan and I'll be an honorary Japan Japanese. If you all have been to Korea and Japan, let me know which one, uh, which country do you like the best. I mean, I personally uh, am team Japan. I really love Japan a lot. I love Korea for the food and of course for um, the shopping. But for Japan, it's a whole experience. I just really love Japan. So comment down below. Let me know whether you're uh, team Korea or team Japan or both. It's fine. I, 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 it's hard, but I really like Japan. For mascara, I'm going to be using my Benefit Roller Lash. I have forgotten to take my lash curler, but it's okay. This roller lash can curl my lashes for me and lift it up. Look at that. Oh, this mascara is like amazing. But it's so expensive. Before I do my bottom lash line, I'm going to put glitter duh i'm gonna be using my holika holika magic inside glitter in the shade number four and i'm gonna put it on the inner where should i put it mm. i'm gonna run it through my lower lash line where i put the brown eyeshadow just now just use my fingers and blend everything out
Okay, so that's done. Um, what else? Okay, I think I'm done with the rest of my face. Okay, before I do my lips, I'm going to lock everything in with um, Urban Decay Makeup Chill Setting Spray. Okay, then for my lips, I'm going to go in with, of course, my 3CE Velvet Lip Tint. For today, I'm going to take these two shades. This is the shade Pink Break. This is the shade Taupe. So um, what I like to do is I apply the lighter shade, which in this case would be Pink Break, all over my lips. Alright, so now that I'm done with the base, I will go in with the darker shade, which is Taupe, and I'll just put it in the inner corners, uh, in, the, in the inner portion of my lips. And I will show you what I mean by it blends so easily, which makes it very easy to create ombre lips. So I'm just going to do put it in on the inside. And then I'll purse my lips on the inside. And you have an ombre already. For this case, it's not very obvious because both shades are quite bright. But if you were to use like a um a, a a nude shade as a base, and then you put the taupe on top, like in the inner corners, you, uh, in the inner part of your lips, you can definitely, definitely see the ombre. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this chatty get ready with me where I share with you guys how I use some of my favourite products to achieve my go-to um, makeup look. And yeah, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I hope to see you guys soon in my next video. Bye!